see the the our our our, our jar file is located in the in if you have in the relative path or epsilon depending on the where jar located normally i put it everything in together and build it zip files and then put it in the, in the distant department and he will unzip it file and see the information so here is the, you 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 deploy the application version number so you see the application name and then version number that we have it in there and then he will set it here different environment because in the in the in the in the, in the source code level we already find our five environments development production rail test qa and and then release the release uh, release environment so here we try to locally to deploy the applications and then the the, the your your database url so it servers the application started lo local server and application started this port and this is the database name this is the username and password and that's all finish so that means this is the two files this is the one files and this is the files that now we are calling the, our our settings our all the environmental settings and calling the path of the java and java.run and then that's also on forth, so forth because i i like it to to segregate to this this file because if the administration department or change this one and that's they can just run it this application that's this this command and that's all finished it works automatically because that's why i i i i i, I try to separate these two files into different way two files and then when i all the settings environmental setting is done then just I call it here. So you see, they're calling the application port. That's in have it in the application properties files. Uh, we have it in the address and then profile active, which I, for which which environment I try to install the applications and URL of the database and username and password. And that's all. That's the, the very 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 efficient way to do the the, the the installation process. So that means when I have the jar files and the internal jar files, then just you need to change like here. Your port number, where Java located, and your versions, the the jar, jar name, which environment try to install, and uh, depending, and then here's the database name, is the name and password, and that's all. Then we will run the application, uh, our our console level. So I will show you how is it run. So you see that our, our our file is located in this directory. That's true that the file is located in the in the our in the directory. And you go to the directory, see that our two our jar files, two version is there, and then for our environmental barrier files, environmental settings files, CMD, CMD files, and then you start and service start files. What do you need to do in the in the start dot yeah, service file service that you need to call to to get then then the automatically started. And I will show you how is the effect is done. Because our in the 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 Eclipse level, the application is locally deployed in the local machines. So that means it have a double double. The, 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 there is, there will be configuration. This port is already used. That's why I, I would like to show you how the the port is too important for for this one. When I stop it, it then automatically installed. You'll see the message. So application is started with this same port because it shouldn't be possible because environments test environment that's the development environment we are running applications and calling the jar files to the, our c directory and then this the, the directory that's one so let, let's see how is it run is it running for i expect there is an exception is coming because the we we run the applications into in the same port <clears throat> let's see so all the necessary things as like in the in the local deployment in the console in the eclipse and then you see the the this port already used in the configuration that's the the, the the things we need to maintain that's that's true so let's let's stop the the applications to the to the to the from the local environment so we stop the applications and now we need to see the how is it look like So let's start uh, to the application again because we, we, I will show you how the, the problem was located. Because if you try to application to run the two you know, same port and then there is the application because the, this port is already used. We 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 use this application to run the port six zero eight zero six seven in the in the in the in the in the Eclipse itself. But we try to run application in the in the in the same port with the with the console level in the in the in the in the command modes in the because. The, if every application need it is own port number, own specific application because the port means we try to run really these specific applications. Not the not, one application cannot run with the same port with a different with the, with the same machines. 
That's that's the problem. That's how we have it. We already learned it. That's one. So it's, now you can run it, surveys, and then it should work. It should work. I expect it works. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Then it's properly launched the, the, the jar files, the, the version number that we have it. You know, from, from here, it, it's developing environment. That's true. That's we already set it in developing environments. And then there's a necessary contact settings and all the, the database. So it's okay. Tomcat is started and then properly started with the 6087. And then mapping filters is done. So all the hypernet necessary is necessary mappings, then the the SQL definitions and here DDL schema definition update, and then all the all the URL mappings. You see the all the new NFA mappings is done properly, and then everything is okay. I expect that now we can get the proper URL. So you see the now is a proper URL coming. So you see the URL is properly coming. Now we need to start our 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 browsers locally. So now is not the application is not running with the with the with our our local deployment. Yes, that's true in the local machines, but not in the our development in in the, in that clips level or in the console level in the somewhere. So application is running our externally externally deployed application configure. Maybe this application we can try it at the different port. Oh, that's that's that can that can happen. We can write it as a different port of the applications. That still works. Maybe six, seven, or eight, zero, and something like that. <clears throat> so same thing is here. You see the our application still the uh, eighteen is there. Then if you need to to insert the one in the in the application, in the record, or in the users, maybe maybe sorry here. So. So IT is there. So go back again to to put it uh, the, do the delete update get operations, and then I go to the user roles. It is still the user role there 500. Then you can do this like this, and then create the operations. And this is externally deployed 500 ones, and then you can do so. Sorry, this navigator. You need to to do to more do more customizations. So this is our addressing last time we inserted this one application to the to the to the to the to the Eclipse uh, or to the console level level to deploy this Spring Boot application here we just put it here like in the in the external deployments. So perfect is is working. That's what we expect in the deployment. Just we need to recap now something. So what we started we, we in the, my presentation I described all the possible existing java based um, template engines i mean the view technologies or GUI ai development technologies and then uh, in, the, in the in the presentation level then we start our 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 backend developments we did our all the necessary configuration in the in the, the, in the development level and we did our application the our our application dot properties file we we did our five application and spring spring boot application properties files or the profile configurations and then we we checked our application is properly working in the local environments and in the in the spring boot application install in the, the running running application and then we we check we we copy our we build our jar file the final versions we we put it in our local directory and did our our environmental settings and, and run the application to externally in the, our environmental settings with the service with the simple command files and we see the, the in the in the external deployed file with the console level files and then all things is working properly that's how we expected that's how i show you in here expected so this is the application we need we see so i will put it my if you if you are if you are not familiar my my channels i put it all the videos in my channels you can look for here in total we have 61 videos you can look for this one and different technologies and then with grails scooby java then then 
uh, microservices, web APIs, and cloud APIs, and um, service discovery, a lot of things. Even though there is a lot of application for the GIS application, there is 62 videos, maybe that's was important for you uh, for this part. Uh, this, this You can look for this one. If it's just helpful for you, just subscribe the, the channels. And then if you can, if I have any update videos, you can get it very quickly and press the bell buttons. And I, I put it all the source code into the into the give my git repository you see the all the the projects there is a 26 projects repository from the with all different languages and te technologies you can download the uh, source code and then build the application yourself and see the how it's look like and just don't forget to to subscribe the channels and put in your comments that maybe improve our my 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 knowledge and to share with you the subscribe it and thank you and and bye bye goodbye